Alright, so since so many people are creaming their brulees over the butter blimp, I thought I would give the dirigeur a shot as well. So let's see how it turned out. I didn't want to be influenced by other people's builds though, I just wanted to try and build it myself, so I tried to avoid everything as best as I could. For the Sentinel build, we start off with the Arc Coil precept. This zaps up to 7 enemies within 10 meters with 100 electricity damage, which has 10% status chance. This is pretty decent for spreading electricity procs around. Then we have the dirigeur's basic attack precept, calculated shot, which also makes it charge up a more powerful shot on the first enemy that's within 70 meters. Then we have Prime Regen, this isn't entirely necessary, it just helps with the downtime if the Dirigeau were to die. And the final precept mod is Electro Pulse, which every 5 seconds makes the Sentinel zap an enemy within 15 meters and stuns them. This is actually pretty good crowd control. Then to add a bit of extra beefiness, we have Enhanced Vitality, and we don't run Fiber or Redirection because the shields and armor on Dirigeau are pretty bad. We follow that up with Vacuum for, well, Vacuum, and then we have fired up. This just adds a bunch of extra heat damage if the Sentinel can keep it up, which the Dirija very much can. Because our weapon of choice here for the Dirija is going to be the Verglas, which is a beam weapon that basically always hits and it fires really fast. Now, for a bit of extra chunkiness on the Dirija, I chose to run Accelerated Deflection, and it's one rank from the top just so I don't have to add an extra 4 mine here. And this is mostly just to reset the Sentinel's shield gate a little bit faster thanks to the negative shield recharge delay. And to top it all off, I went with two bonds. Manifold and Duplex. Manifold is really good because it allows the precepts on the Sentinel to apply status effects from the Sentinel's weapon. In our case, that's gonna be viral. And Duplex is really good here because I build the Derija to do damage. So not only are we spawning clones of the Derija, which also do damage every time we spend 100 energy, they generate a lot of energy orbs as they kill stuff. Now, as I've mentioned already, our weapon of choice here is going to be the Verglas, a code-based beam weapon. And on the Verglas, we're gonna put Serration for damage, Split Chamber for multi-shot, Vigilante Fervor for fire rate, and Vigilante Armament for more multi-shot. This also gives you a two piece vigilante set bonus for your warframe, which is always nice. Then because the Verglas has a pretty long reload time, we're actually going to run fast hands or even primed fast hands if you're willing to invest a little bit more forma into it, because we're investing a lot into fire rate, so the Sentinel is going to be reloading a lot. Then we have Malignant Force and Ram Rounds for Viral, and we're getting heat from Fired Up, and we top it all off with a buttload of extra fire rate from Vile Acceleration. Though if you're not going to use this in Steel Path, take out Vile Acceleration and put in combustion beam instead. This will give the Sentinel a nice bit of extra AoE, and it will clear the star chart pretty fast on its own. If, however, you want to take it into Steel Path, you're gonna have to help it out with some armor strip, which, I mean, you're probably already doing that for yourself, so it's not like you're doing anything extra. Now, to be entirely honest with you, I didn't expect the Derija to do that good of a job at clearing enemies in Steel Path, but, dude, this thing shreds. And once Duplex Bond kicks in and you have four of them flying around, they can clear a Steel Path mission on their own as long as you strip the enemy armor. It's pretty impressive. The best thing about this is that the Sentinel doesn't just do big damage, it also crowd controls everything around you through the different arc presets and it provides a ton of energy orbs through duplex bond. It's not very good at priming enemies though, it will spread a bit of status amongst the enemies but it's nowhere near as good as like a proper Hellstrom setup or even a Panzer Volpa Phyla. But you know, you can't have everything at once, so it's okay. I actually like this setup a lot, I tend to build companions more to be sort of a support rather than damage deal Dealers, but having at least one companion that can do good damage is always nice. Because sometimes your build just doesn't need the extra support and you can take a companion that adds a bunch of extra damage. So yeah, I see why people were so excited about the Dereja. And that's pretty much it for the video, so I thank you very much for watching as always guys, and I would like to extend a special thank you to all the channel members. Thank you very much guys, I really appreciate your support. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.